it's over. <laughs> it's it's over. Good morning. So I camped up by the river last night. It's very loud. Uh, today is my last day before I get back to Bishkek. I've got just 50 miles left and I'm there. And the 50 miles is all a nice downhill, which is going to be lovely. Uh, I've got to get out of the tent because <laughs> it's getting a bit hot here. Forty-five miles in that direction, down that road, is Bishkek. And guess what just happened? Yeah, another hub break. So I'm going to try and fix it, um, bodge it, tighten up the spokes, whatever, and hope that the remaining six spokes don't completely die on me. That is the worst fix I've ever done. Let's see if it holds up. So here's the deal. I had another flange break. My hub is now completely on its last legs. I'm 26 miles from Bishkek and I'm scared that if I get off and get on again, the act of mounting is going to completely destroy the wheel. So <laughs> I'm not going to get on again. Back there it was the last time I'm getting on this wheel. And we're going to cycle the 26 miles straight, non-stop, all the way to Bishkek, all the way to the main square. That's our plan. It's over. <laughs> it's, it's over. The hub just completely broke. Well, uh, two of the spokes that were kind of holding the rest of the hub together just failed. Um, just everything is just loose. There's, yeah. 14 miles. 14 miles away, and it breaks. You will never see a worse looking unicycle hub than that. Just, just look at this. It's like, what the hell is going on? Well, yeah, <laughs> there is absolutely no clearance on that. 14 miles from Bishkek. The first break, I'll remind you, the first break that I had, the first flange break, was 1,200 miles that duration in Kazakhstan. Since then, I've cycled that distance, climbed two mountain passes, and it chooses, the hub chooses to break 14 miles. Not 40, not 1,400, 14 miles away from Bishkek. <laughs> I'm just annoyed. It's, oh, it's done so well. I know it's done so well. And I know that I, I'm very lucky for it to have lasted me this far, but 14 miles. Sorry. Ah, breakfast. Thank you. Good. Still at him. Edward. 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 Uh, see? Lucien. Lucien. To me. Ah, like. Uh, ah, skokalit. Um, trust it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Malinki, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to a sunny Bishkek. Check out what I've got. I found my other wheel. <laughs> so this is the old one, this is the new one. Thank you so much Unicycle.com and Roger and the whole team. Uh, they sent this out for me, they, they, they sponsored me with this wheel. Uh, but today we've got some jobs to do in order to get this attached to our unicycle. I need to drill out this hole here. I need to take this disc off and then reattach this disc to the new wheel. Once I get on the disc, I then need to push back a new bearing and then that'll be this wheel ready to roll. Спасибо, 
voice of it. It's great. Okay. Future reference when I come back to the spots. I've already marked on the map, so I know where it is. But just so I've got video evidence. This is where I stopped. This is where I've come back to. That's where the unicycle is. I don't know. Post, post, house. Um, yeah. And I'm back in the town of Shopakov. New wheel, new hub, 14 miles to cycle. Let's do this! So yeah, finally finishing this leg of the trip today. And I'll be able to finally say that I've ridden my unicycle from England to Bishkek. It's going to be a good feeling. strokes left until we're at the center, until we're at the uh, main attitude square. Very excited. in Bishkek. That's how you unicycle from Aktube to Bishkek. It's hard work. Um, I've been here in Bishkek now for two weeks. I've been sorting out my Chinese visa and also editing those videos, getting unicycle ready. Uh, there's been a few bits and bobs that I need to change so that's now that's not sorted. Um, but yeah, that last month in Kazakhstan is pretty crazy. Uh, just watching about the footage, there wasn't many days when I wasn't having a hub problem. <laughs> My wheel just kept breaking. But anyway, it's done, and I did it. And if that's not character building, I don't know what is. Really, really enjoyed myself, even with all the problems. It was great to be back in the country. Great to be back in Kazakhstan. Just meeting more people, seeing more people on the road. Being invited into people's houses. Just amazing hospitality. Um, and I can't thank all the people that, that helped me out on this tour. And there was a lot, uh, enough, and they really just made it happen. Meeting Tekie in uh, Aral, wow, what a great guy. Uh, he charged me like next to nothing and spent like four or five hours fixing this thing. you think, flat, it would be quite easy, but no, uh, a lot of wind. <laughs> I think, yeah, four days of straight wind at one point, that completely sucked my energy. I was doing like 20, sometimes less than that, miles a day. It was pretty tough, but it was great to meet Martin and Sura, and I think they turned what could have been quite a boring section of the session of this tour uh, into something, yeah, a lot of fun, and we had a lot of laughs together. Uh, finding places to camp, uh, <laughs> walking over bridges, <laughs> seeing camels. Uh, tortoises, uh, puppies, all of this. Um, no, we had a good time. A lot of card playing as well, a lot of sitting in cafes and, and drinking tea. And I'm really pleased that I chose to go through Kyrgyzstan as well for the last bit of the route. Uh, it was a good decision. Last minute decision <laughs> at the porter, but um, no, really good decision. It was great to be back in the mountains. After four weeks in Kazakhstan of just desert and flat, um, it was late going from seeing in black and white to suddenly seeing everything in colour. Everywhere you look in Kyrgyzstan is beautiful. The mountains, the, the scenery, the grass, the yurts. It's great to see yurts. Um, not so great to drink kumis. <laughs> drank a lot of kumis one day. Um, but no, very enjoyable. And um, I hope that China will be the same. Pretty good leg of the trip, I'd say. So tomorrow, as you can see, unicycle is packed. I'm heading off to Karakol tomorrow, uh, so it's going to take me six days to cycle to Karakol, and then after that, the next stop on this world tour is China. So keep your seatbelt buckled.
See ya.